to my uh, usual sports uh, predictions of the weekend. I'm in a really good run of form the last uh, four to six weeks, it's fair to say, in the Premier League and beyond. It's the FA Cup uh, this weekend, of course, where the dreams of giant killing could Sutton after the Bayern Munich performance. Arsenal could Sutton knock Arsenal out of the FA Cup. Surely that me would mean Le Professeur would hang up his boots after all. We'll come to that game. But don't forget, you can go to the columns. Uh, you can go to all of the um, the weekend's predictions are going to be on Twitter, on the Ball Sports account. And if you go to www.ballsports.com forward slash Stan, you'll see all of the specials that we like to give you across the weekend as well. So let's see if we can make you a few quid this weekend. Let's start at Turf Moor, Burnley. They face Lincoln City. Now, the whole context of this um, round of the FA Cup is quite simple. Um, our team's... Close enough to feel Wembley, Burnley, you're looking at Leicester, you're looking at Middlesbrough, that have had middling or poor seasons in the Premier League, or are they going to basically put a second string in, where it's just a toss of a coin, you don't know if they're going to gel, you don't know if they're going to play well, and you don't know if there's going to be more giant killings. For Burnley, I'm going to go with their fantastic uh, home form, um, and I think that they will sneakily, I think that Sean Dyche this season, if their away form wasn't so bad... They could be looking at Europe. Their home form has been sensational this season. So I'm going to go for a very, very comfortable win for uh, Burnley this weekend at Turf Moor against the Imps of uh, Lincoln City. I'm going to go for Burnley 3, Lincoln City 0. Let's go to Huddersfield. Uh, David Wagner, Jurgen Klopp's mate, faces Pep Guardiola. And, uh, of course... Uh, Manchester City themselves have Champions League football to think of, so will again, will they make changes? I think there are two or three squads in the Premier League that can make changes and not have any discernible uh, tail-off in performance. Man City is one, Chelsea is another, Manchester City, uh, Manchester United are probably the third. So I wouldn't count Arsenal in that, I wouldn't count Liverpool in that, and that was proven by performances in the tournament a little bit earlier on in the season. So I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go for this, going to be a tough, hard-fought uh, victory uh, to Yorkshire uh, crowd there at the uh, was it the JJS or oh, the John Smith Stadium um, in Huddersfield going very well in the uh, the division in the Championship looking forward potentially at the very least uh, to get into the playoffs but uh, if uh, Brighton and Old Albion and Newcastle United slip up then may well fall into one of those automatic spots so it's going to be very tough if I'm Huddersfield if I'm David Wagner you go for it I think it'll be very tight I think there'll only be one goal between the two teams but I'm I'm still going to have Manchester City to go through. I'm going to go for Huddersfield 1, Manchester City 2. What about Middlesbrough? Lots of rumours that Karanka has thrown his toys out the pram, that he's not happy with the players, he's getting frustrated. Uh, they face Oxford and I think this is a chance to get a little bit of momentum. Play your first team, Iter. Get a couple of goals if you're Rudy Gastretstead or Alvaro Negredo. Get Adam Clayton on the ball. Get Adama Traore getting goals. And again, I think it'll be a fairly routine victory for uh, Borough against Oxford. I'm going to go for Middlesbrough 2, uh, Oxford 0. And I'm going to go I'm going to go Rudy Gestead to get one of the goals. Millwall against Leicester. Stuttering champions. They've got Sevilla coming up after this game. So again, looking at Claudio Ranieri, looking at his body language, looking at recent results, the last place you want to go to is the Den. I remember playing there, I think it was a 2-2 draw between um, Millwall and Nottingham Forest in the championship days. And it was a full house, proper raucous atmosphere. Um, so I know what it's like to play down there on a, a packed house. So I'd imagine it will be full as well. Um, I think that the best that the champions of England, they're going to make lots of changes. I think this well could go to a second game. I'm going to go for Middles, uh, Millwall 1. I beg your pardon, I went to Middlesbrough last time, didn't I? Millwall 1, Lions, um, Leicester City 1. And it's another game that Claudio Ranieri simply does not need at this stage of the season. Let's go to Molyneux, uh, bought by Chinese owners this season. Uh, their young man, it'd be Costa against Costa, potentially. Um... The Wolves version, I think he scored 9-10 goals in the championship this season, uh, signed him for £13 million, so he'll be looking at the grand stage in Molyneux, maybe a full house, 25 30000 as the uh, Premier League leaders visit. Again, will Chelsea make changes? Possibly, but they don't need to because they're not in European club football, of course. So they can go out and put out a first team. That means one-way traffic for me. Chelsea going all the way to the final, all the way to the Premier League. It could be a delicious double for Antonio Conte. Wolves nil. 
Chelsea three. I think it'll be that straightforward. A very special offer for core Collymore fans this week. Bet £10 with Boyle Sports and receive a £25 voucher for classicfootballshirts.co.uk. Get on to ballsports.com forward slash Stan to claim yours now. Come on!